Good morning, Jeff. This is Rich Lucero here at La Mesa RV, beautiful Mesa, Arizona. It's dropped a couple degrees in the temperature today, so it's not terrible. We are not currently on the face of the sun, as we were about a week ago. Here's a quick little video on this 2020 Winnebago Forza 34T. This is going to be their very popular short diesel pusher. You can see the overall length of this right at 35 feet. I do have everything running right now, so I'm trying to talk up, so hopefully you can hear me well. So let's just take a peek at this thing and see what it looks like. This is going to be a brand new 2020. Again, the reason for the price is we got the 21s on their way. So this is being sold at invoice. You can see the LED lights here on the front. Nice, very attractive look to it. Looks like there's eh, maybe a little nick there, maybe. That might just come off, I'm not sure. Uh, the front of this looks to be excellent too, of course. I, I don't see any rock chips in the windshield at all. Uh, our policy on that would be if there was a little rock chip, that it'd be filled in, and then if it was a crack, we would replace it. Let's take a look at this mirror here. Looks good. You do see the carefree awning toppers over here. This does have, have feature the real nice frameless windows. Uh, I open and closed all the doors down here. Everything opens and closes real nice and solid. View of the wet bay here. You do have your whole house water filtration right there. You're gonna be your black tank, your black tank flush water, uh, and also an outdoor shower too. Factory Michelin XRV tires. This does have the Truma AquaGo tankless water heater right here. A shot of the rear. Hopefully you can hear me just fine. It is quite loud. This bottle does need a nice little wash. It's a little dirty. Let's see here. You got your outdoor entertainment right here. Shot of the wheels and tires. And you do have your second armless awning right here too as well. And then the exhaust right here for the washer and dryer. I, if I remember correctly, this, this model had all the options. And this is also finished in their, their walnut interior, which is gorgeous. Golly, I like this interior a lot. A solid surface countertops here. You do have a little bit of a countertop extension. Nice little double stainless steel sink that you get right here. MCD shades all the way around. So you get your blackout and also your solar shades. Nice big screen TV, Samsung and a Samsung sound bar with a Samsung uh, uh, CD or DVD player and a nice little fireplace down below. Uh, this has a the little extension. This comes out and then flips up and then you have a table that's over the top. A little bit of extra storage over here. Uh, I'm about six feet tall and I could stand underneath of this drop down bed with no problems. I don't know if it's gonna allow me to do the bed. Oh yeah, it is. So you can see I have the ignition and that's how I didn't know if it was going to allow me to do the bed. So you could have this at any point. The problem that you're going to find is see how it's at an angle right here? It's going to be at an angle until it's all the way down. With the bed down, you still have the full access to the windshield though. So it shouldn't be an issue. The only thing would be a little bit difficult to actually get underneath of there too. Actually sit down. Here's a view of the new digital jet dash from Freightliner and also the big screen stereo that you see right here. Looks like it's featuring HDMI MH, M MHL, which I'm not sure what that means. Sirius XM and Bluetooth. View of the seat right here. Everything looks great. Extra keys down below. Also with the recliners and there's little tables that pop into here that you could actually swing around and use it like a TV tray table. This does make down into a bed, and I believe you have two seat belts over here and one seat belt over here. Let's see. Yeah, a little extra storage in here too as well. And down below, lots of storage on this little smaller unit. Uh, and you do have a 30 inch residential microwave right here. This is a convection microwave. You have the suburban three burner stove down below. A Whirlpool residential refrigerator. The flooring is very attractive, gives it like a wood plank type of look to it. It does have the multiplex wiring system, the Firefly, so you can turn everything on, everything on at the same at the same point, run your slides uh, in and out, 
take care of your um, run your HVAC too as well which let's put that on here let's see that should work for that and then bam that should work for that and then you hear it turn on here turn on in the back too as well looks like it's missing a cover right here of course this is going to be something that they would take care of and replace might have had a recall on it or something I'm not sure view of the bathroom too this has have the glass shower doors that lock into place very nice porcelain toilets stainless steel sink and fantastic vents up above there and also right here too as well uh, this is option with the roll pull washer and dryer it's not the, um, the the combination kit it is the stacked version you do have a full 80 inch residential queen bed right here lots of storage there's the fan cover or the air conditioner cover and you get a whole host of accessories extra filters a whole bunch of stuff with this wow uh, you do have the wireless charging pads on either side of your bed too as well and it looks like this is a some sort of an air sleep sleep number mattress or something freedom air very 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 nice oh very nice bed. mattress as a matter of fact uh, and you'll see the sliding door too to have this locked off for privacy it just goes back into place and locks into place right there and then a view of everything else see this right here looks like this is coming they got to put a little nail right there or something uh, aside from that this thing is gorgeous man everything runs and operates of course it is a brand new, new unit with full manufacturer warranty uh, anyway, just want to show you a quick little video. This is Rich Lucero. Oh, that feels good. Nice cold air. Rich Lucero, La Mesa RV. Uh, give me a call. Let me know how, what you want to do. My phone number is 480-278-4623. Again, Rich Lucero, La Mesa RV, 480-278-4623. Thank you so much. Talk with you soon.